Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we're going to take a quick look at this great game on the Steam Deck, um, Ghosts of Tsushima. Tsushima. Got to get that T in there. Uh, we're going to start off in high graphics mode, so we are actually turned up to high. Uh, we'll look at settings. If you want to look at those closer, jump to uh, 546, 5 minutes, 46 seconds, and you'll see a lot more about the settings. But we're in high settings, no customization. And I just wanted to see what it looked like kind of in the dark running around. The uh, lighting, everything, it looks really, really good. It even looks, it looks amazing on OLED, by the way. I don't want to give the LCD folks some FOMO, but man, it looks great in OLED. Everything just pops. So what we have here is an encounter. I'm going to try to keep the spoilers as minimal as possible, but I wanted you guys to be able to watch the FPS counter when we're out and there's some water effects and there's lighting effects going on. And we, again, we're on high uh, detail level here. And you can see we're staying well in the 40s. I don't think we're having really any problem. There's a little bit of dip down every now and then when I'm doing a massive camera pan. But frankly, I've been playing, I don't know, maybe 20 hours of this on my PC, and I didn't have any trouble uh, playing it on this slightly lower frame rate here on the Steam Deck. Now, would I like to have 4040 or even 60? Of course, of course I would. By the way, I'm getting my butt kicked because I'm using a, a Nextbox Elite 2 controller instead of my regular Armor Pro X. So we'll just uh, let this play out a little bit. Again, I wanted you to see what a nice battle looked like. We're going to do all the uh, biome nonsense here in just a minute, but I was having a really good time just smacking these guys down. And again, I'm trying to do my best not to reveal any sort of... Uh, any sort of spoilers here, but you know, anything can be considered a spoiler. All right, well, that pretty much rounded that battle up. All right, so uh, let's take a look here. I wanted to kind of show you some load times. I'm not gonna do a whole lot of mapping, but I wanted you to see what it looked like from selection to uh, load time to the actual game. It's really fast. Now this is installed on my internal SSD drive. So we will you know, take that into consideration. I would expect it would run just as good on an SD card of high quality, SanDisk Extreme, something like that. So now we're inside of a town, basically. And towns, you know how it is with these open world games. The towns are a bummer. You can see I'm, I'm chewing down into the, the 20 FPS range, uh, high 20s, but still 20s all the same. Fortunately, you're not doing a whole lot of battling in here. So, you know, it's pretty much just running around and taking care, upgrading your weapons, all that good stuff. I also wanted to show you what it looked like with sort of a panoramic view. I'm sorry these are all so dark. I don't know why I couldn't seem to get myself into daylight to save my life. I was always in twilight or dawn or dusk or dark. But we will have a little bit of light stuff coming up here in just a minute. All right, so you can see here we're holding a nice 35, 30 to 35, even with fast camera pans looking way out there with a far draw distance. It looks great. Okay, so here's a little bit of daylight, although I think it's still morning. This is, grasslands here will give you sort of an idea of uh, with these effects, right? So we've got sort of this fog, this haze, the lighting, and you you can see we're we're keeping it well into the upper 30s. One more time, we're going to do a battle. This time with the fog and the wind, all the grass. This might not have been fair the other time. So we'll go ahead and do. I'm starting to get the hang of using this other controller, and we'll just finish these guys off. Again, I'm about, I think about 20 hours into the game. So if you're wondering how come you don't have all those balls and all that health, I'm sorry, resolve, not balls. They look like little yellow balls though. You don't have all these extra goodies yet. And again, um, I use the back paddle buttons as a uh, block and they're not set up that way by default. So I didn't get around to changing them, but you can see every now and then I get a good parry in. Yeah, that looked great. That was fun. That was that was great. That was nothing. You know, okay, so it ran in the 30s. Who cares? All right, now we're going to get to the probably the worst experience that I had in this testing. 
you guys know I like the worst parts of. And you can see here, uh, I'm running around. It's it's barely holding 30. You can see it's dropping regularly into the 20s, uh, low 30s. It's it's struggling. It's struggling in this town. And it's probably due to the darkness and the lighting, all that good stuff. So this might be an, a good opportunity to go ahead and let's see if we lower the graphic resolution down a little bit. If we could drop it down to say medium, there's a possibility that we can still uh, salvage a little something here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what our graphics are now. Here's our display properties. Again, 720 is what I can do through my Elgato to capture. But you can see here uh, the basic settings. I've turned off dynamic resolution scaling. I'm not a big fan of that. Some people love it. I'm I'm just just not a fan. So let's take a look at the graphics. This is the high preset. None of these have been changed. All I did was turn it to high and called it a day. That's it. So here are all the high settings. So we're going to take it down to medium settings and we're going to see how that looks. Again, we're not going to change anything. We're going to use the default medium out of the box. All right, so now we're here at medium settings. Let's run around here. You can already tell we're starting to get back up into the high 30s, even running around the same town that we were having problems with. We're in the 40s, high 30s, uh, low 40s. I think we're in good shape here. And it looks fine, it looks great. We're gonna play a few more of the biomes here. Inside of town, this is another big town, lots of stuff going on. You can see we're easily staying in the mid 30s. Not a problem even creeping up into the 40s. So again, this is a pretty heavy town and uh, that's this is what we would hope for, right? Uh, we wanna stay well above 30, right? We wanna stay well above 30. So we could actually call this a 30 FPS game all the time without dipping into the 20s. But yeah, looks great. All right, so let's jump back out into the grasslands here. This isn't actually the grasslands. I'm not sure what they call this. There's actually another grasslands we'll see in a minute. But let's go ahead and let's do another engagement with this uh, medium setting. And let's see what we got. Let me just go ahead and let, let, uh, let me fight it out here for a minute. I love that. Bonk. He's gonna do it again, but lost my lost my uh, bearing there. Many more parries this time. Much more blocking. Hey, Scarecrow! How about a little fire? Yeah, it looks great. Plays great. 40s, no problem. Out running around here. Looks good. All right, so let's... Uh, this is the actual grasslands. <laughs> per se, grasslands. And uh, it's not much to really see because it's sort of dark. But uh, you get an opportunity to see a, this huge field. Um, we'll call the horse in. Let's see what happens if I ride the horse through here. Let's see if we take a, a frame rate hit. No, no, it's keeping up just fine. High 30s. Big fan. All right. Yeah, this is a this is a great game. I mean, first of all, it's a great game, no matter what machine you play it on. But to have a game that looks this good and plays this good on the Steam Deck, well, listen, I'm a huge fan. So I was playing with the Xbox controller, but if I shut it off and I go back to the Steam Deck, look at that. There's actually built-in Steam Deck identification. These guys are really uh, embracing it, and I love it. Listen, I uh, hope you like what you saw. Please, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, we'll come at you with another video a little bit later. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching, and take care. We'll see you next time.